Hi, Dan from DJ More Lofts, and today I'm currently stood in this monster bedroom that we've created for our clients over in Biggleswade. So this property is a relatively new property, around three to four years old, um, quite a big detached property. The loft space originally, if you can see here, was quite a large space to even start with, but the client had ambition plans to not only get a nice big master bedroom up here, nice big freestanding or walk-in wardrobe and a bathroom as well. So they've gone for the full hog and on top of that we've got a nice big landing as well. So this property benefits from two different types of dormers. On the front, as you see here from these aerial shots we've got these leaded dormers from the front which look fantastic and then on the back we've got this monster flat roof dormer that's finished in a slate as well to try and compensate and keep it as in keeping with the original roof as we can but back into this room that you can see behind me what a space so now this room is actually five meters wide but over eight meters deep it's a monster it really is and I hope that comes across on the camera the client's gone for and opted for a few things where they've had a bespoke headboard made into this room as well which helps make it feel even bigger as well because it just fills the space. Um, lighting, they've gone pretty simple and minimalistic so we've not gone mad for loads of down lighters. They've just got a nice simple light fitting over the bed and then a few down lights in the corner. Got fitted wardrobes in the room as well as, oh I say fitted wardrobes, fitted cupboards in the room either side of this pitched roof dormer and then they've obviously got this bespoke fitted walk-in wardrobe full of LED lighting, nice big mirror as well which looks fantastic. Um, on top of that, we've then got this nice big master ensuite now. So the original master downstairs has got an ensuite, but in comparison to what this one is, it's a massive again. So the favorite thing for me for this build is not only the space, but it's the head height. So the head height on this is phenomenal. So we've got around 2.5 meters finished head height, which in loft world is pretty unheard of, if I'm being honest with you. So it is a nice big space up in it. Just feels so open. Light-wise, we've got multiple doors windows we haven't actually got any Veluxes on this property which is quite strange because normally we're used to putting a large amount of Veluxes in but what we have got is dormer windows at the rear and dormer windows at the back so the space is still nice and light we've been able to get the stairs up and over the existing so that's another benefit as well clients lost no space downstairs the only thing that they did lose was an airing cupboard but what we've done is where that water tank was we repositioned that into the eaves area on this build as well so we've got what we call horizontal water tank where it's been fitted into the eaves so it's all out of space and we've gained that area as well and like i say the stairs are up and over the existing so it looks very much original as well but the stairs do cut across a window that's um, a trade-off if you like but with regards to the space and not losing any space anywhere else the client was keen to just maybe um, sacrifice that window not necessarily brick it up just so we can get the natural light up and down but it's just the only trade-off that they've had to do with regards to the loft but leading up into there we've got this monster space as you can see behind me and I don't mean to keep bringing it back to this old footage where we show the space before we've even started but just seeing the difference from that dark dingy area all those trusses everywhere to now what we've got with this big grand open space it's just impeccable it's it's, it's insane. Thankfully, the clients are over the moon as well. We've just sat down and done a filmed a little video testimony, so you'll be able to see that on the website as well, and they're over the moon, recommended to their friends as well already. Um, and funny enough, we were just talking about how they originally found us. So they, he, the, the client here was on a run, and he'd found a couple of our jobs in, a, in the local area that, that's in the scaffold signs on. So just shows something very simple, like uh, having the scaffold banner up and stuff like that works for showing for the marketing. Um, but overall, another fantastic example of what is possible with a loft. Arguably, the original loft didn't need all these dormers. You could have had a pretty simple Velux conversion up here, but I'm really glad that they've gone for what they've gone with because the space up here is just so grand and so open and it's quite unusual that we do stuff of this size. So I'm really pleased to see something a little bit different. Like I say, I hope it comes across on camera how big this room is. It is massive. Um, it's even got its own separate couch, for example, um, and the bed is nice and big as well. So so yeah, let us know in the comments, what do you think? What would you use this space for? Would you have one big bedroom or would you try and utilize it and put a few different rooms up there? Let us know in the comments. But overall, another fantastic example. We look forward to seeing you again soon. And if you've not subscribed already, please do, because we've got some really interesting videos coming up in the near future. We'll see you again soon.